So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another React video in which we'll be discussing components in React. Now components in React is a very, very integral part of React because that is how React is built from the ground up. So React considers your page to be split into different components. Components you can think of as, you know, you can consider them as independent pieces of blocks on the page but more or less that just means you're splitting up code into different files and making your code base more modular right so as you proceed with different complexity of apps in react you would see that your components are actually your different react pages as well and within those react pages that, that is within those individual pages you would have different different components as well so you can have a component name home.js which consists of you know a component called header.js you know a content.js right and maybe you have a page called you know blog.js which consists of header.js plus comments.js plus footer.js stuff like that and footer.js let's say is available here as well so so on and so forth so your home is a component, header is a component, content is a component. Basically, everything in React is a component. If you're creating a file and if you're exporting something, which is a function and it's using JSX, chances are it's a component, right? So how do you create a component in React? Well, you see that you use index.jsx to bootstrap your very first component. That is the function you create. So in React, there are basically two ways to create a component that is using a class so you can have a class my component extends react.component and there you have a component and there's another way called functions now functions was not the cool way to create components before react introduced something known as hooks which we're going to get to in later videos so before that all the cool guys always used classes right but things have changed now. Now functions are the cool thing and React officially recommends switching over to functional components because of better performance and better debugging support. Now, so in this web series, we're gonna just focus on functional components and we're gonna see how we can make use of them. So we already have our first component app as the functional component. And if you're wondering why we need this particular import, even if when we are not using it anywhere in the screen. So if you remove this, you're going to see that JSX would not really work. So let's see, hit save and you're going to see that React must be in scope when using JSX. So basically this React package is required um, if you're making use of JSX, right? And right now it did not throw any error because you're using .js file. If you switch over to TypeScript, then it will start complaining, right? So TypeScript is also something we would discuss later on, but not now. So we have our first component app as the, uh, you know, as the component. I'm going to create another component which says, you know, I am an a h1. Uh, return. Wow, this is so cool. Right. And instead of this particular h1, I'm going to write I am an h1. And basically, how you write a component is you just write it like you would do an HTML tag. And one thing you have to remember is React components, that is a React custom component, would always, always start with a capital letter, right? If you started with a small letter, React would try to interpret it as a, um, you know, a HTML tag. So if you hit save, you're going to see it would not work and you would you know spend a lot of time scratching your head if you're beginning out with this that why is not working the only reason it's not working is your first letter is not capital once you do that and it's safe you're gonna see it works right so make sure if you're creating any custom component its first letter is capital and whatever you return from that particular component you can just write down as plain HTML no needs of codes or anything right just write it down hit save and you're gonna see and make sure if you are writing in multi-line make sure you enclose it in brackets because JavaScript has an automatic semicolon insertion policy. So it would just consider it like this. So it won't return you anything and you would still wonder why it's not working. So if you're writing multi-line, use brackets. 
If not, then well, you're good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you would create your first component in React. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked it, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.